Hey guys, Team Blue Vulture in here. Once again, I'm doing another deck profile. Actually, trying to show on Dual Network. Hopefully, this quality shows up pretty well. Alright, so today we are going over Monster Mash. Well, OTK archetype. You may or may not have heard of it. I'm going to go ahead and explain it for you just in case. Um, first of all, it involves this guy, Kokomir Doom. His effect basically says that while he's out, no one can activate any effects of Lair Dark Monsters during the main phase. This means I can stop anything like Balfader or... I can't stop Fader, but I can stop like Effect Veiler or something that would stop your DK. Anyways, you summon this dude. And special summon this guy, Galasis Beast. He can be special summoned by revealing the top card of your deck. If it's a uh, um, monster, inflict damage to your opponent equal to level times 200, special summon this card. So, and this entire deck is all monsters. That's why it's called Monster Mash. And you deal some burn damage here for him. Then you return to your hand with Mr. Birdman. Birdman's cost is to return a monster to your hand like this dude. But because of this guy, he can't actually touch the field. So he just stays in your hand and you can do that all the time. Which means basically you get this dude out, these two in hand, you in the game. Alright, let's go over a couple of the texts of the engines I'm using this variant. First of all, this deck is all monsters, so it needs search cards. So I'm going with Kokomir Boulder. He searches out a Kokomir monster, such as Doom. I go with my Genex Power Planner to search out my Genex monster. And Key Mouse to bring out one and only Galaxy Star Beast. The rest of this deck kind of has to be filler, just whatever you want to put in it. It helps a lot to have attack blockers in, so we want to max out on the gores and Trigodias. Two Trigodias is amazing in here. And of course, the gores stops OTK, is good for him. Um, I'm running more of a hopeless build in here. Just because you get a, little, a lot of stuff in the graveyard, a lot of synergy with your monsters with Trigodia. So I'm running Triple Wyvern, Triple Darkness, so your Dragon, Thander th th Dragon Engine. Of course, I have to have my red eyes because I'm the red eyes guy. Love the sort. Needs to come out. And that needs to come out in America. And my little techie in here is Double Galaxy Eyes Photon Dragon. New card from New Set. Who basically special summon him by popping two monsters with 2,000 or more attack. Or he can be normal summon, he's no, not no me. And basically, as long as he's battling a monster, he's invincible. He gets around every single battle effect as long as he's battling a monster. Plus, if it succeeds, Gets to remove all the material and gets stronger, so good for him. Galaxy Eyes. And finally, we get some more stuff. We got the Sangan to search a good majority of the OTK. We have this dude who is my new best friend forever, Time Lord Medion. His effect says that he can't be special summoned. That he can't be special summoned from the deck. If I control a monster, you could normal summon this monster without tribute as a level 10 monster. And, you know, this card can't be destroyed by a battle or by card effects. This car you take no battle damage involving battles from this card. And at the end of the battle phase, if this card was attacked or it attacks, then you return all their monsters on the field to the hand and inflict 300 for each card return this way. He spins back to deck during the standby phase. This card is an amazing chump blocker. Set him when you've got nothing on the field against, I don't know, whatever swarm they have. They all attack him, like, that's nice. Return all that stuff to their hand. You draw your card for turn, and he goes back safe into the deck where you can mill him for a good 2,000 damage. So yeah, he's pretty good at max out on this guy. Of course, to round things out, we got Grand Mold, Bounce stuff. Got some Chaos in here, so obviously BLS. And Dark Arm has my Chaos Engine. I'll show you Dark Sword, because there is a good amount of wind in the deck. And finally, round things out. Junk Synchro for a little bit of Synchro action, and Lane Darkness Dragon because, I don't know, I just thought he'd work in there. Why not? Go with the extra deck real quick. It's pretty standard. Got Leviathan, Levier, Brilliant. Um, Brilliant's only attacking here over Zemmains because I don't have Zemmains right now. It could be Zemmains, but he's pretty cool because he boosts you hack your monsters. Got Hoop as my level 4 monster, because Hoop is amazing, and you want to be stopping attacks, because you know you don't really have too much to defend yourself. Um, Synchros, got the formulas for draw power, Kitty Catastor, Junk Garden, because we are using Junk Synchro on once again, attack blocking. Special Embryo, Arcanate, because we got some spellcasters in here, 
Everyone's favorite Black Rose. Got Junk Destroyer for a little bit of destruction. The best card ever, Scrap Dragon. Dusty. Good old Trishula. And finally Shooting Star Because you can get that combo off if you want to. Finally, a little sneak peek of what I want the deck to be. Um, basically, we'll look at him first. Cephalon, the ultimate Time Lord. He's a Shonen Jump promo that's coming out. One of the subscription cards. His effect reads that he cannot be normal or summoned or said he must be special summoned from your hand by having 10 or more monsters in your graveyard. And can't be special summoned any other way. Here's the fun part. Once per turn, you can special summon one level 8 or higher fairy monster from your hand or graveyard. Its effects negated, but its attack becomes 4,000. So you get this level 10, 4,000 meter. That could bring back any fairy. Like, you know, many on. The cool thing about this is that in this all-monster deck, with this combo, you're going to be milling like crazy. So, even if you can't get the combo off, you can still mill some stuff to Graveyard, pop him out, and then, like, as long as you have a mini on the Grave, you're going to have two 4K beaters to swing for your game. Pretty cool. How about with this? We're actually running Time Wizard, because I want to be a time travel deck. And if you're going to pop your own cards, so what? It just makes him come out faster. Got right, card tubers for a little mill power. This has a nice 2k beater that puts up in the grave. And got some new fun exceeds. Namely, Gustav, the dude that deals 2,000 damage per turn. And the most amazing card ever. But he'll have his own little video later, so. This is the Monster Mash. Coming from you live on Dual Terminal. Come play me some time, do something, I don't know. Spray on. Sign out. Medion says goodbye.